I'm Jim Patterson of Pass It On, the Edinburgh charity which recycles and adapts computers for disabled people. You may have seen my written tutorials on the Pass It On website. In this video version of the tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to how to print from the computer with some helpful hints. You've typed a letter or taken a photo and uploaded it to the computer and want it on paper, what do you do? First ensure that your printer is connected to the computer. Nowadays this will be with a USB cable and the computer should beep when you connect. Then switch the printer on and load it with the correct paper. The very first time the printer is connected, the computer should recognise it, and you may be asked to follow installation instructions. If not, you may have to install printer drivers. Now, open the document or photo in the programme being used, so that it is on the screen. Select the File menu and you will find the option to print. Click on print. A window appears which allows you to select what pages and how many are to be printed. It should have the name of your printer highlighted in the printer name drop down menu. You may also get the opportunity to select Properties. Once set, these should stay till changed. There will be various options for paper and for quality of print. Sometimes you can select Draft, which will save ink while you get a readable print to check. If it is an inkjet printer, it will have a maintenance utility, which allows checking of print quality and cleaning of the print heads. Click on OK and then print when you are ready to print. There is usually a print button in the toolbar which you can use instead of the file menu once you've set the settings. If you want to see what the print will look like before printing, then first select from the file menu Print Preview or Page Preview or click on the toolbar. You may find that the layout is more suitable in landscape format rather than portrait. Click on Print Properties and then Orientation or Layout. And then OK to change this. You may want to change the size or type of the paper used. Click on Properties and then one of the paper options to change this. You may have to make adjustments to the paper tray so that the paper slides through properly. Similarly, there may be an adjustment for thicker paper or printing onto a CD. Finally, click on OK to implement the changes. When printing photos, you may be given the option to print multiple photos on the one sheet of paper. This can be set up on the screen before printing. Problems such as running out of ink are highlighted with error messages. 
follow the on-screen instructions given. Printer manufacturers like you to use their own brand of ink and will show a message if their brand is not being used. But these are usually much more expensive than others available. Ask your usual source of help for alternatives and for places to recycle the old cartridges. When printing, you can open a window which allows you to see the status of print jobs you have set up. Options, for example to pause or cancel from the queue, are given under the Documents menu. To view this window, click on the control panel in the start bar and then double click on printers and faxes or devices and printers and double click on your printer name or right click on your printer name and on see what's printing. Well, that's the end of the tutorial. I hope it has met your needs. If there is anything more you'd like to know or if you have any comments why not email us at the address on the screen Happy. at passitoncomputers.co.uk and quote, how to print. Thank you and bye for now.